Top 10 Most Popular Dinosaurs. The flashy stuff means that we're here for a treat. This video was made in 2018, so expect a little bit of outdated. We have all heard about dinosaurs, those amazing creatures that walked the face of the earth millions of years ago, whose footprints gave anyone goosebumps. This voice feels like AI. Also, where is this from? I'm not getting good vibes from it. That's why, this time we bring you the ones that are better known to date. Number 10. Ankylosaurus magnaventris. Also known only as the Ankylosaurus, it lived at the end of the Cretaceous period and is well known for its armor that covered its entire back. Okay, so this is the model from 2023. We're not going to use this as a base. What we're going to use, though, is the model from 2018 shown here. As you can see, the Ankylosaurus osteoderms were not meant to be incredibly spiky. They are more flat than shown here, and it also happens in some other clips as well. In addition to its large and heavy tail, which was its main means of defense, it comes as no surprise that its name means Armored Lizard. And as you may notice, this dinosaur was not small, since it was more than 20 feet long. In spite of its corpulent texture, many scientists identify it as a weak and slow herbivore. Weak? Are you serious right now? However, with these qualities, we believe it would be a difficult target for any predator. I can't use words to describe this monstrosity of a scene. You know, the scene is fine by itself, but they just had to add in a spinal roar from JP3 in there. Number 9. Apatosaurus. Four years later, Brightside commits the exact same pronunciation mistake. This giant species was discovered in what is now North America. And when we speak of its size, we are not kidding, since it is approximately 66 feet in length. That's a terrible model of a patasaurus. On the other hand, this dinosaur was known to be one of the largest beings that ever existed. But it doesn't compare to the likes of stuff like Argentinosaurus and Brachiosaurus. And in addition to its long tail that is believed to have been used as a whip, it would hurt itself using its tail. And even to make loud noises to scare away any threat. However, as intimidating as it may seem, its diet was mainly based on plants. That's why it is dangerous, because herbivores can just attack you if they deem you as a threat. Number 8. Plesiosaurus. Wow, okay. That isn't even a dinosaur. It is a marine reptile. Although its name is not familiar to many, this species is also known as marine dinosaurs. From what is known about this reptile, it's that they were good swimmers and fed mainly on mollusks and squid-like animals. However, this did not prevent it from being predated since remains of plesiosaurs have been found in the stomachs of other aquatic carnivores. This marine species is the origin of hundreds of legends about marine snakes, and it is even believed that the Loch Ness Monster is a plesiosaur that survived the extinction of dinosaurs. The Loch Ness Monster does not exist. End of story. Number 7. Spinosaurus Okay, so to give them credit, at least they didn't use the monster's resurrected Spinosaurus. That would be absolutely insane. When one thinks of extremely dangerous dinosaurs, one probably wouldn't think of the Spinosaurus, despite being considered one of the most lethal species due to its aggressive behavior added to its size. You mean typical semi-aquatic dinosaur behavior, which means just wading in the water grabbing fish. And it's not surprising, since it measured more than 60 feet long. Surprise, surprise, that estimate is freakishly outdated. I'm not sure why you would want to use that estimate in 2018. And weighed about 10 tons. It is even said that it exceeded the dimensions of the famous T-Rex. Very common comparison over here. I've critiqued the same thing a gazillion times. I'm not going to say it again. This combination of ferocity and great texture came to the big screen in the movie Jurassic Park, where it was presented as the most powerful predator, and considering these characteristics, we believe that anyone would be cold at the sight of it. Number 6. Brachiosaurus And since we're talking about size, why not show one of the longest species that existed? 
Measuring an approximate length of 85 feet is considered one of the most famous dinosaur species among both paleontologists and the general public. And with that size, it's difficult to go unnoticed. Would it matter though? Unless if humans with guns existed at the time, Brachiosaurus is too big. On the other hand, another feature of this gigantic herbivore, which we can't ignore, is its gigantic neck, which, despite not having much mobility, allowed it to feed on tall trees. Number 5. Stegosaurus This species is normally recognized by its arched back loaded with plates and quills that were used mainly to defend themselves, since they were herbivores. Obviously, because they had to face tons of Allosaurus. I think you're talking about the Sagamizer. On its tail, there is evidence of punctures in Allosaurus skulls from Stegosaurus Sagamizers. However, this did not make them easy targets, because they were also able to use their long tail with thorns to ward off threats. Also to defend themselves. And with a size of more than 30 feet in length, it's believed that many predators would have thought twice before attacking. Number 4. Pterodactyl No, that thing is called Pteranodon. Also, it is not a dinosaur. It is a pterosaur. Man, what a common mistake. What, you thought we were going to forget what might be the best known flying dinosaur? The best known flying dinosaur is a bird. Well, at least the birds that could fly. Well, indeed, this species is one of the first to be identified as a flying reptile. Despite not being a gigantic animal, considering that it barely measured 3.5 feet, you're showing Pteranodon, yet you're using Pterodactylus. It was quite feared since it was not very common to see a flying predator. However, its prey consisted mainly of fish and small animals, a small task considering that its mouth was a long beak loaded with innumerable teeth similar to a saw. Pteranodon did not have teeth. Number 3. Triceratops It is difficult to imagine a prehistoric past without these horned creatures. With three horns, this herbivore is considered the rival of the T-Rex, Obviously, they lived in the same area at the same time. T-Rex hunted the likes of Triceratops, Ankylosaurus, and Montosaurus. All three are very challenging. Having been portrayed countless times in confrontation, although this has not been proven. Okay, this is just Triceratops versus Ceratosaurus from Jurassic World Evolution. Also, there is legitimate evidence of T-Rex hunting Triceratops and Taurosaurus. There are bite marks that are healed. You can't heal if you're dead. One of its most outstanding qualities are its three horns which would have been used to defend themselves. However, several studies specify that they were actually used during sexual courtship. Both are correct, as shown prehistoric planet. Still, at present, their usefulness is still a mystery. Number 2. Velociraptor This carnivore is known worldwide for the Jurassic Park movie saga. It has been identified by many paleontologists as a cruel and cunning murderer. What do you mean cruel and cunning? Velociraptor doesn't have enough intelligence for it to be cruel. It does not have enough intelligence to enjoy killing others. Because its great speed added to its sharp teeth made it a lethal predator. One of the not-so-well-known characteristics of this species is that it was covered with feathers despite never having acquired the ability to fly. Number 1. Tyrannosaurus Rex And in the first place, we find the famous and indisputably popular T-Rex. This gigantic species is known worldwide for its large size that reached 13 feet in height. Also forgot to mention, but dinosaur size is determined by mass, not height or length. Although some paleontologists consider it. This isn't even a T-Rex. These are traveling Cacarodontosaurus from Dinosaur Planet. Super Predator, there are other theories that indicate that it would actually have been a scavenger. Jack Horner strikes again with the stupid T-Rex scavenging theory. Even Clash of the Dinosaurs correctly states that the T-Rex hunted scavengers when it needs to. A debate that continues to this day. 
On the other hand, one of the most common mistakes made is that this dinosaur had its lack of vision, which has been denied and on the contrary, it is considered that it would have had an extraordinary vision as well as an excellent sense of smell. Altogether, this majestic animal earns its position and helps us understand why its name means King Lizard. Tyrannosaurus Rex means Tyrant Lizard King. If you liked the video, give us a thumbs up and click the notification bell for more content just like this. Until next time. This is the end of the video. Obviously, uh, this is not a good paleontology video. It's 2018, but even then it's bad. Made in 2018. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed. See you all next time. <laughs>